Mayor Jeff Lundy from the city of Brooklyn Park joining us from his home. Welcome, Mayor. How are you today? Pretty good, sir. Thank you. Thanks for spending a little time with us. We have three topics to touch on. Let's begin with COVID-19. With all that is happening from the state and on a local level, what is the Brooklyn Park City Hall telling people in the city? I think first and foremost, we still have that website, you know, brooklynpark.org slash COVID-19, that we're keeping everything updated. So any changes, whether it's state level, uh, mental health, uh, community health, uh, we put that in there, including programs. So everything is still there. We encourage people to go there for the current truth. It's being updated constantly. And then we're just trying to help people, you know, kind of survive what obviously is going to be a longer winter until a vaccine, which look promising around. Let's move ahead to the budget process. We've talked about it many times as it's moved through the process. Coming to the final days here, how are things looking as it finishes up for 2021? I think the council is kind of zeroing in on the 0% uh, tax levy increase. We've got a couple things we're trying to kind of balance out, like if we want to put some money for mental health unit investment in the police department, and also code enforcement. You know, this past summer, we heard loud and clear that people noticed that we did not hire a seasonal code enforcement worker. So we did that on purpose to try to save money. So we're trying to look at, is there a way we can kind of balance that out and still hit the 0%? There will be effect on people, employees, and uh, that will affect some services. But that's when you spend less, not deliver less. So we're going to try to do the best we can. Very good. Final minute. Let's talk about the upcoming special election. And congratulations to you. This now forces a need to have a special election for mayor. Tell us a little bit about that process and how it's unfolding. Yeah, over the next few weeks, the uh, city attorney is going to kind of come back to this, some plans. We're trying to balance out state law, which says how many days before mail-in ballots. And, and also our charter says how many days you have to elect a new person. So what will happen the first week in January, uh, the city council will declare a vacancy. And so from there, the dates will kind of lay out. They'll make some changes. And so uh, I'd be remiss if at this point, I, before we ended today, that if I didn't thank uh, yourself and CCX for 10 years of Mayor's Minutes. Um, and so I really appreciate that partnership and look forward to working with you guys. I do thank the city of Brooklyn for me the honor uh, to be your mayor. Well, we're going to miss talking to you this way, but certainly we'll stay in touch on the county level and have yep. many reasons to talk to you there as well. So I'm sure you'll be a busy man. Yep, thank you. All right, thanks, Mayor. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Okay, thank you. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.